What an incredible honor to have the opportunity to be part of this year's Real Leaders Top 50 Speakers in the World list. Now, I know that sounds like a powerful title, a great group to be a part of, and it is, and it means the world to me. But a couple of things I want to share about this type of recognition before we start talking about you and your companies and your growth and how we get our employees to fight what the world is trying to tell us today, which is maybe it's not our time and the times are too challenging. How do we rise up? Before we get there, I, I do want to share these couple pieces about this type of recognition. Number one, these things do not happen alone. We have an incredible team that is working every single day to have the opportunity to work with incredible people around the world in sports and in business. And the second thing I would share with you is I'm not done yet. I am far from done. I get knocked down. I've been shaken to the core in my life. I make mistakes all the time. I still have two coaches. I read books every single day because I am far from figuring this out. So it's a blessing. It's an honor to be part of the list. But I look at all of the individuals who are on this list, and they're the ones that are amazing. So many individuals who have inspired me on my journey. And so I look forward to this opportunity to spend time with all of you sharing what some of the impact that they've had on me has meant on my journey, which then ends up impacting you on your journey. And one of the things that I've found that is most common with the highest performers is that the highest performers in the world, they are driven by what I call the burn. Now, a lot of speakers and coaches that do the work that I do, they talk about why and they talk about purpose, which is incredibly important as we very well know. But what I believe so many individuals miss is talking about that burn, that fire that lies inside of you. It's that fire that ignites your why and your purpose that then causes the highest performers to take the necessary action with more consistency to do what it takes to be great. So oftentimes it ends up being pretty simple. If somebody's underperforming, it's a simple conversation. You know, and real leaders asked for me to share two takeaways today for you and your teams I'm actually going to break it down to two because there's actually what's called channel capacity. We can only take on and handle so much. And there's going to be some other unbelievable speakers that you're going to hear from and learn from. And I want to make sure that you save room for all the amazing things that they're going to share as well. So I'm going to break it down to two. But the first one is that burn. Now, for me, let me give you an example of what the burn is. I had to grow up fast. Parents were divorced at six months old, never knew them together. Shortly thereafter, my mother was diagnosed with a rare muscle disease called amyloidosis. At the time of my mother's diagnosis, only two hospitals in the United States treating the disease. My mother was the greatest champion and fighter of life I have ever known. Would you believe when my mother was told that she had two to four years to live, she took out a journal, this old blue mead notebook, and she wrote down, beat the statistics, beat the odds, live with a disease that is chronic and fatal, believe in yourself, combat anything, purpose in life. My mother, when we had 24-hour nursing care in our home, used to come to the dinner table with an IV stand every single night to ask my brother and I how our days were at school. Literally an IV stand. Sometimes it took one nurse, sometimes it took two, and she'd put one foot in front of the other, one foot in front of the other, one foot in front of the other. Just like maybe you've been having to do yourself through what we've been experiencing here in this country, what we've been experiencing around the world. Maybe it's for you, maybe it's individuals that you lead. They've been focused too much on results or the pain or the challenge and adversity and they're forgetting just put one foot in front of the other. And sometimes the reason why it's so hard to do that is because they're not connected to the burn or that deep rooted fire and reason why they're going to take that next step. You see, my mother taught me that purpose overtakes pain. My mother's greatest goal was that she would continue to be the leader of her two boys. That was her burn, that's her fire, that's what caused her to put one foot in front of the other until she got to the head of that dining room table. And she'd pan over to the right every single night at my older brother Drew and say, Drew, how was your day at school? 
And then she'd look over to the left and she'd look me dead square in the eyes and say, honey, how was your day at school? I always got the honey because I was the younger son. See, one of the things that you'll learn about me, I'm an emotional dude. I cry when I watch extreme home makeovers. So I found that in life, we've got to be real. We've got to be transparent. We've got to share our fight. We've got to share our passion. But you have to connect to yours every single day. You see, even though my mother shared her burn with me through her action, which has caused me after she passed away 11 days before my eighth birthday to show up with a burn and a fire to continue to write her story every day. Because really what happened on November 2nd, 1986, is she passed the pen that she was writing within that journal and to my brother and I to have the opportunity to continue to write her story. And that puts a burn inside of me that ignites that why and purpose that causes me to take consistent action every single day. You see, part of what happens is once you connect to that burn more consistently, and you'll see it in the workbook with a worksheet that we share, there's actually a burn challenge for you. If you haven't been connecting to your burn enough inside that workbook, in addition for ways that we can actually stay connected after our time together today, you'll see there's a challenge so that you can start to shift your mindset, rewire how you show up, rewire where you put your focus to connect to that burn every single day and watch how it changes the action that you take. You see, the burn is so significant. Maybe your burn comes from challenge and pain like mine. Maybe your burn comes from pain. Maybe your burn comes from somebody who sacrificed for you and you just want to be an amazing example for others because without their sacrifice, you wouldn't have your opportunity. The burn can come from so many different places. But connect to your burn heading into 2022 and watch how your life changes. Because far too often we worry too much about what's going on in the world and allowing outside factors to determine our mindset of how we show up every day. You have 100% control of your mindset. The second thing I wanted to share with you is probably the most popular concept that I share in our work with business leaders, business owners, entrepreneurs all over the world, as well as champions in sports. And I'm gonna give you two examples of this concept, one from the world of business and one from the world of sports. And this concept is standard over feelings. Don't allow your feelings to dictate how you show up. Choose to create and live to the standard that will cause you to win one day at a time. Even though you can see some rings behind me from having the blessing of working with some amazing teams, winning trophies, winning championships at the highest possible level in sports, I don't measure winning in rings or trophies or revenue or bottom line income. I actually measure winning in your ability to look yourself in the mirror at the end of the day and to say, today I gave it my very best. If you have the ability to do that, nobody can ever take that away from you. And you can never ask any more of yourself than your very best. So one day at a time, choose to fight Choose to create the standard that causes you to win. Each of us, we know what it takes for us to win every day. You know what it takes to be great. I could ask you, what's the single most important daily discipline that when you follow through with it, you know that's what causes you to win? And then I could ask you, why don't you look back over the last 30 days, how have you shown up on a scale of one to 10 with that one single most important daily discipline? If you're behind where you know you need to be to win, you have to choose to change it. If you connect to your burn, I bet the consistency in that action changes. And my definition of consistency is not every few days or a few days in a row. It's every damn day. Now, that's the standard that you create. Far too often, we allow our feelings to dictate how we show up. Yesterday was amazing. Why do I need to do the work today? I believe that tomorrow is going to be great. Why do I need to do the work today? Silence those feelings. Don't allow those feelings to dictate how you show up. Or it's yesterday was so tough, I don't feel like doing it today. Rise up and live to the standard anyway. I've had the opportunity to work with the Alabama Crimson Tide football team. They're doing some amazing things on quite a roll, and we've got a little bit of work left ahead of us this year. Far from finished. But last year, it was the week of the Arkansas game. I was in Tuscaloosa. We had just finished practice. 
Coach Saban just finished speaking to the team. We're walking off the practice field together. And Coach Saban looks up at me and he says, what are your thoughts and observations? I said, Coach, I said, based upon your messaging over the last couple of days, I think the rest of this season comes down to standard over feelings. The players cannot allow their feelings to dictate how they show up. They have to choose every day to show up and dominate the standard and win one day at a time. Coach Saban looked up at me. He peels off to the right, takes a note out of his pocket, writes it down on paper, takes off walking. One of the big themes the rest of the season was standard over feelings, and you saw that team come together. Just like you saw them come together this season in that Auburn game when there were improbable odds to win, and then when they battled Georgia. And now we'll head to Cincinnati, not looking ahead to who we may play, but ready to dominate that 60 minutes because that is the standard. We can't look ahead. We have to dominate what's in front of us. It's the same for us. That's what the standard looks like. Another one of my financial advisor clients, one of the top financial advisors in the world, probably in the top 0.0001% of financial advisors in the world. His name is Claudio. He's given me permission to share this story. I remember a couple of years ago, we were down in Orlando where he lives. We were actually heading off to a dinner together and I asked him in the car a question that I love asking great leaders. Ask great leaders this question. I said, what makes you great? And he looked at me and he said, it's an easy answer. Doesn't matter what I did yesterday. Doesn't matter what I think I will do tomorrow. If I don't do what I said I was going to do today, the amount of guilt that I live with is too much for me to handle. I would rather just do the work. That's the standard. He's driven by a burn being first generation from Brazil. His parents left great jobs, made tremendous sacrifice for him to have the opportunity to live a better life in the United States. And he chooses to win one day at a time. So I've seen it working with Coach Saban, the greatest coach of all time. 18 national championships at Alabama, maybe the most storied college football program of all time. My four years of work at Alabama, it's all about the standard. Every player has a burn. With Claudio and having the opportunity to work with companies that are doing over a billion dollars of revenue, top financial advisors like him, others from other industries, they connect to their burn, they have a standard. Now it's your turn. Inside the workbook, you will see a worksheet about the burn. You'll see four pages all about standard over feelings. Lock in, choose to be great, give yourself permission for 2022 to be your best year ever. And remember, it just comes down to winning one day at a time. The byproduct of thinking and behaving and living that way is performing at your highest possible level and winning like you never thought you could. Once again, thank you to Real Leaders for the opportunity to be part of this amazing top 50 speakers in the world, humbled by the opportunity to be with so many greats that continue to impact my life. We are never finished. We must keep attacking and writing our stories one day at a time. And don't ever forget that everything you need is already in you. Go do great things. 